Hello, adventurers. Welcome back to my time of Sandrock. Rise and shine. Uh, go straight. Oh, go to Starship Ruins. I thought it was just straight to it. Um, I want to get my missions for the day, like always. So, I don't know what today's going to bring because uh, now we have ourselves a girlfriend, apparently. <laughs> I just kept clicking. Uh, yes, why not? Sure, let's have ourselves a girlfriend. Uh, let's see. 1605 for zinc. Titanium alloy. We got those. Let's, let's accept that. Uh, titanium aluminum alloy for 1300 I got a whole bunch of those. Let's take that. Limestone bricks. Uh, I got those. Uh, we'll take that. And let's see. Switchboards for 1153 What else we got here? Uh, meat stuffed mushrooms. Actually, I want to take coffee beans. It's kind of like it's in between. Um, I should have plenty of them. But I want to go see Zeke because I was looking at the calendar. Today is Zeke's birthday. And I did make him a dew collector, so that'll remind me to go ahead and uh, check on him. Give him his birthday present. Uh, anything over here? No. Uh, Logan's out here. Interesting. Uh, let's grab that. What do we got for mail? Uh, from Ryan or Ryan, depending on how you, how you want to say the name. Hey, we just got off the got out of the clinic last night, and I'm a father. It's a healthy baby girl, and I just feel like the most blessed guy in the whole world right now. The whole babies won't let you sleep thing is real, but we're managing. Just wanted to spread the joyous news. Stop by and meet the baby sometime. Uh, okay. Uh, where does he live? Oh, just up over the hill. Uh, let's see what Ma has to say. I heard you fixed the school. That's such good news. I was talking to your pa uh, about whether you'd move back to high wind when your contract is over. Do I actually have a contract here? I don't remember. <laughs> far, far as I know, I didn't sign one. Uh, but I think you'll probably settle in Sandrock, won't you? I don't blame you. You work so hard to make Sandrock what it is now. Is the new teacher nice? Uh, I, I think she's nice. We'll reply. Um, the new teacher... Oh, let's see. What was it actually say? The new teacher is called Jane. She's lovely. She really... She's really talkative and confident. I think she'll be a great teacher. She's really beautiful. I heard she was an actress. She was an actress for a while in Walnut Grove. I think the children are going to love her. Uh, yeah, we'll, we'll just write that. And we will delete that letter now. Confirm. All set. Uh, good. Uh, Logan was here. I think he may have just wanted to have a chat. Wait, did, do I, did, I, did I make it? Do I have everything I need on, on my missions? I think so. We got that. We got that. We got that. So it's Heidi, 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 and Zeke. And then we'll go to the Spaceship Ruins. Still collecting all the ghouls that we can. We're trying to save up for like one of the best mansions, I think, that we can get a pre-built on. Because I'm terrible at building houses and all that. Around the corner. No, Heidi, wake up. What are you doing? I mean, it's 7.30 in the morning, Heidi. Come on. For your job, you should be up and at him. Uh, confirm on that. I mean, you wanted all these commissions done. I got them done for you, and you're, and you're sleeping on the job. All right, and... Do you know anything about the planting community? I'm kind of smiling and nodding through all these interactions. Uh, what er, what did Professor Liu do, actually, uh, exactly? That makes him so famous. Uh-huh, yeah. Oh, yeah, that's pretty cool. So, basically, she has nothing knowing about uh, trees and such, I guess. <clears throat> this is just a minor hiccup. We're going to figure out what's going uh, wrong with our forest. And one day... This will just be a footnote in the history books. See ya. So at one point she says she doesn't really understand what's going on. Uh, what did I what did I just click on? I probably was checking on something. Uh, at one <laughs> the first conversation she says she doesn't really understand the planting thing, but yet she's kind of saying, "Yeah, don't worry about it. We'll figure it out." Uh, yeah. So last episode we got ourselves a girlfriend in Venti. Oh, uh, I guess uh, I got too close to the house. I thought I actually had to go in, but... Hey there! Come to welcome the newest member of Sandrock family. I've just learned from a very reliable source, her parents, 
that her name is Lyndon, but I think the nickname Lin Lin has already stuck. Hmm. I ju just saw her. Isn't she precious? That sounds something that Trudy would say. <laughs> I never seen our old friend Danby more pleased. She's glowing with pride. Hmm. The miracle of motherhood. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Here's a real miracle. I saw Rianne changing diapers. Hmm. I know. Saw the packaging in the foreground. He's already gone through half a pack. And then he'd be gently he'd uh, gently put little little Lynn in her crib without so much of a peep. She would be nice to have that kind of a uh, gumption around when Elsie was a newborn. Oh, uh, here comes Cooper. He's going to say something. You just know it. Um. Well, if that's all Cooper says. <laughs> Come on, Coop. You hated changing diapers so much. There were tears rolling down your cheeks. And then, then I get Elsie to start crying. And then... Why is it every time I have a group conversation, Sandy has to come by with her microphone? Is she gone now? Hmm. Well, yeah, I powdered, uh, powered through, changing them diapers uh, whilst dealing with overwhelming emotional distress. That makes me twice the man old pencil, pencil maker will ever be. Who are, we, who are we talking about? Pencil neck pencil maker? Who's he referring to? I have no idea. Elsa and I were crying together. It was a bonding experience. <laughs> it's not a competition. Let's just be proud of our friend uh, Ryan for really stepping up. He's already carved... <laughs> Hello, Jane. Uh, he's already carved up plenty of little wooden toys for his daughter. And even gave one to Jasmine. <laughs> Freaking try hard. <laughs> Trying to make us others pass uh, look bad. <laughs> No one's questioning anybody here. Hey, let's stop holding you up. You're here to see the baby, right? I think we're all just leaving. See ya. Uh, talk, do I need to talk to anyone? Don't think so. Uh, Danby's leaving. Let's see if she's actually going to be in. Oh, see if she's actually going to come back inside. Yep, yeah, she's back inside. Hey there! We welcome to this world Linden, our daughter. The Linden tree has one of Danby's favorite flowers, and the Linden uh, base wood is just some of the most beautiful lumber you could ever lay your hands on. Just seemed like the perfect name for the most perfect part of our marriage. Hmm? You want to meet Linden? Come on in, but be kind of quiet. She's sleeping. I guess that's all I have to do. Fine by me. Uh, what's in here? Oh, so I, I was like, I was kind of lost there for a second. Like, where am I? So it just teleported me right up to their bedroom. All right, let's go see. Wait, before I actually go out there, where is Zeke? Is Zeke actually out here? <laughs> Says he is. Let's go see Zeke. We'll hand in our last commission for the day. And then uh, we'll also give him a birthday present. If I remember, I did build him a dew collector. He loves those, which makes sense. So the whole girlfriend thing, I, I was actually uh, thinking about it a little bit while the game was loading up. And I'm trying to... I, I, I think... Uh, Venti, oh, he's actually in here. Uh, Venti, maybe we should break up. I don't know how you can break up with someone. And then maybe kind of flirt some more with Nia and maybe some other of the ladies around town. Oh. And also, oh wait, he has something to say. Lou is filling in a lot of gaps in knowledge that tend to arise when you've been working solo all these years. He can be a little harsh, but I think Mian and Nia soften him up whenever we need it. Uh, and for your birthday, sir. Where would it be? Just gotta find the Duke. There it is. 
And it's a perfect one, too. I love it. Thanks so much. 54. 54. Maybe because it was a perfect one and it was on his birthday. But plus 54. But the weird thing is, uh, we didn't get anything for um, friendship enough otherwise. How are we on friendship with him at that point? I mean, fi plus 54 points. Well, it got us up to almost full force. Four full stars. Uh, he is a friend. I mean, I would get a discount at a store, maybe a little bit more. So I think we're going here to find water, if I remember correctly. And also while I'm up here, did the trees regrow? I'm just looking around for the trees. I don't see any. I may get some scrap on the way out. Hey there, partner. I reckon I secured this side early, but it seems like Director Chi still got here before me. I arrived at precisely 3.02 a.m. And it's like 8 o'clock in the morning for me? I'm glad you're here. Now we can get started. According to the documents, the entrance to another section of the base is around here. I've narrowed it down as far as humanly possible by walking the distance from the starship wing. I'm certain this is the section that houses the water reservoir. We must now excavate to reveal the entrance. Excavate? As in dig? Dang, that wasn't in the mission description. Director, do you know how far down we have to go? No, just dig until we hit metal. Yeah, all right. Let's get to it. If we work together, we're going to find it in no time at all. Um, I will ask, are you absolutely sure it's down there? Trust me, the data doesn't lie. Okay, partner. Pick a spot that looks appealing and start digging. All right, just rocks, no entryway here. Um, I will go, if I remember correctly, <laughs> I saw an entrance up here a while ago. Is it covered up now? <clears throat> Great job, looks like you found it. Well, actually, I think I found it a while ago. Uh, but they covered up with rocks in the update, and I haven't been up here since. <laughs> Let me just head in and see. Whoa, oh, dear partner. I know you're excited, but uh, you ain't exactly known for your fighting skills. I reckon me and the builder better head on down first to see what the deal is. Ready? Did you bring, you know, medicine, weapons, the usual? Recommended level 50 to 52, so uh, I think I'm. I, yeah, we're fine. Oh, I was supposed to bring that myself? No problem. <laughs> we'll be here waiting for you. Oh, no, no. I was just trying to continue the conversation. Come back sooner rather than later, please. No, I, I'm ready now. Ready to go? Yeah, I, I'm ready to go. <laughs> I thought we were going to get some, like, funny dialogue there, but uh, it was giving me the option of, like, go back and get some stuff. I think we'll be okay. There it is. That's it. Look at that. It's far larger than I thought. And that tank must be the reservoir. The machine attached to it must be the atmospheric water generator. Wow. Breathe, Chi. Breathe. I need a closer look. I must go. Director, wait. What have you... Ah, crud. Come on. We better catch up with him. That guy has a heck of a brain, but in a fight, well, let's just make sure we're there. Yeah, 
Yeah, give me the ghouls. Oh, the box is there. There you go. Justice, I don't know what you're doing over there, but uh, have fun doing whatever it is you're doing. Well, I did get strong medicine, so... Should I actually put some of that in my hot bar, just in case? Just in case... Uh, we will change it out with whatever. I don't know why that's there, but uh, what does that actually do? 800 health points, so or hit points. That should be good enough. Is Justice like just stuck somewhere? Or where did he go? Well, I guess I'm going on my own. I don't know where Justice is. He'll probably teleport to us. Ooh, I heard that laser. Uh, something just came up from behind me. And we got a cutscene. Okay. What are you doing? Get to cover. Dang, he's in his own world now. Well, Builder, you know what to do. Uh, kick butt. Oh, there's a laser right there, right below the pad. On this basis, at any moment, 1-5% to of the atmosphere is made of water vapor. The atmospheric water generator takes advantage of this resource, provides enough to serve the fabrication facility and the launch center. Fascinating! So a single atmospheric generator can be that powerful? Hey, Director G! Can you hear me? Oh, you're here too. It's a real shame. This is just another tourist pamphlet. It doesn't tell me what I want to know. Oh, look around. I expect that the combat AI is to still be functional, but they appear to be destroyed. Um, Chi, stay behind us. Hmm? You two saved me. Ah, thank you. Director, you need to be more careful. You can't just stop and read everything you see. If it weren't for me and the Builder, you'd be Robot Toast right about now. I am sorry. I'll be more careful next time. I finished reading everything here anyway. Although I didn't find any technical data, I found out that the generator in this facility can produce at least 100 tons of water per day. Holy yak mill! 100 tons! Is it still working? It doesn't look damaged. We need to find the control room for the generator. Then we'll know for sure. Alright, so we are looking around. Although I did pass a few things. Are these breakable? They are. Oh, so everyone's just going to follow me now? Okay, that's fine. Just don't remind me while, while I break uh, boxes and such. I probably can mine. Let's see if there's actually anything in these things. <coughs> well, there there is a barrel in there. <coughs> With nothing in it. is going in. Yeah, 
He's got it. Does he? Does his health regrow or or fill back up? I think it was uh, down a little bit there. Pretty sure it does. There's a whole bunch of them in here. Hard to tell. His health looked like it was still like halfway. I don't see anything else going on here. Shows us running there. At least a running symbol. Wait. Ah, over here. Um, let's jump over that. Uh, wait a minute. Do I actually have... I think I got guns on me. Howlet shotgun. Let's go ahead and put that right there. Kind of forgot how to use the gun, though. Ah, oh, yeah. Okay. Wait, there's another one? Where? Oh, I gotta reload. Um... Okay, what am I missing here? What did I miss? We use that. Did I miss a key or something? Let me check the, the missions here. What does it say? Um, to learn more about the water generator, seek out the control room. Find the control room. I don't think I need to be going this far back. If I go down there, can I get back up? Alright, so that's good for some ghouls. Probably so simple. A few of you are yelling at the screen. Tell me what to do next. Okay, we came in here. We used this. That opened the other door. Don't give me a prompt or anything. That was just a shield over that thing? <laughs> I was just getting frustrated. Um, okay. 
I even got myself a power stone, thinking maybe I gotta put a power stone in there. I got frustrated, took out the sword, and, uh, well, that did it. Uh, what, wait, what did that open? I saw something open, but I didn't pay attention to where it was. I think that means we get to go down another level. Alright, let's go. Oh yeah, we are level 54 actually, so level 50 to 52, we're level 54. Uh, maybe I should have my shotgun ready just in case. This should be the control room. I'm going to look at the controls. Can you please look around for any documentation? What about me, Director? How can I help? I don't particularly have faith in your ability to find things. <laughs> okay. Shucks. I mean, at least you're honest. Is Justice, like, that bad at things? I don't think so. Alright, well, we got that. Find logs. Control room work log. I found it. I checked the generator. It seems to be intact. I'm unclear as to whether the rest of the system is still in working condition. Let me see the logs. Perhaps there is a record on system integrity. Generator repaired. Maintenance has updated to automatic repair units. Troubleshooting will be automatically repeated at regular intervals. Good. It seems the system has an automatic maintenance system. I'll try restarting it. I see a big robot Welcome in the background. Welcome to the Olympus 3000 water generation system. Troubleshooting will begin shortly. Troubleshooting complete. System integrity 100%. All systems functional. Water generation engaged. I see a little bit of smoke there. It's water flowing. It's working. The glory of science. Uh, I'm going to say we did it, not saying Rock is saved, because that might be jumping to conclusions here. That we did. I think Mayor Trudy's water problem is no longer an issue. I'm going to celebrate by drinking 12 cups of tea today. To be clear, this is an almost infinite supply of water, as long as the machine is running. Well, what are we waiting for? Let's head on back and tell the mayor the good news. Um, I want to look around. Gotcha. Let me know when you're ready. Because I did not go back out here yet. And I do see some interesting things lurking out there. <laughs> the purification tank is a primary source of water for the staff living on base as well as ships manufacturing and experimentations. It needs to be kept to the highest standards of hygiene. Personal entering the re reservoir must wear protective clothing. Gotcha. We don't need to read all those notes, I think. Because uh, I want to go and destroy some things here. Alright, let's go. Alright, he has, but not hard hard. Now there's only one of you. Yeah, this sword is a little bit OP. That's for sure. Whoa, 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 whoa. Interesting. And what do I get? Probably useless stuff, as far as I'm concerned. What the heck was that? Masterpiece necklace and shotgun shells. I mean, totally worth it. Uh, 
Oh, seems like I'm running around a lot faster all of a sudden. Must have got a perk there somehow. Uh, I think we're all set. You ready to roll out? Yeah, let's go. Let's rock and roll, Justice and Chi. Sheriff, I would like to request the Civil Corps' help in clearing the entrances to the Starship runes. It would be easier for me when I come back for further research expeditions. Uh, didn't we just, like, clear that out now? Good thinking. Now that our main source of water would be from here, gotta make it more accessible, right? Thanks for your hard work today. I'm gonna take the director and go report this to Mayor Trudy. We'll see what she wants to do next. You take it easy now. Twenty friendship experience and a jacket. Um, let's see what this jacket's all about, shall we? Uh, probably at the end of my inventory. There it is. All right. So, uh, let's see. It is for level requirement 50, item level 52. Maybe I'll get back and we'll upgrade it and see what we get. Currently, I get defensive points, stamina. So, that stuff is almost the same. Reflect 85% damage. On my old shirt, I got, well, the one I'm wearing. Reflect 85% of damage. That is pretty darn good. I like that shirt. Um, the shirt, or well, this uh, jacket does pretty darn well. Uh, as I mentioned, there's no trees around here. Uh, but one thing I may want to collect is this ceramic scrap. Because we get those quests quite often. I can take that and make those ceramic plates or whatever it is they want. So over here, I'm going to gather this. And I'm going to go back and see if we can find... Uh, Venti and see what kind of uh, actions we can do as her boyfriend. Do we take her out on dates or uh, maybe we should go talk to Nia as well? Because I, I did mention to her last time that we were very happy that she was here. And I just wonder if I have a girlfriend, can I do I get a prompt that I can make someone else my girlfriend? Do I get two? How's that all work? We got we gotta figure this stuff out. Alright, that, that's good enough for now. Let's head back. Uh, confirm. Let's see, I handed all three missions in to Heidi. We went and saw Zeke. Handed in that mission. We gave him his birthday present. And I think, uh, well, we got the main quest line done so far. There may be one popping up here. Who knows? And I don't see where one is popping up anywhere. So I think. Let's go talk to. Nia. And Venti. And see what kind of conversations we can have. Are they going to show up on the map? Because I don't know where Nia is going to be. Because she's kind of new in town. Is that her in the middle of town? Yes she is. And Venti. Um. Oh, she's actually at the uh, salvage. I thought she had to take a little time off. Did her, her and Rocky sort things out? I thought she had to take a couple days off. Oh, well. I know where she is now. Hello, Katori. Oh, wait a minute. What? This is the chest I've been trying to look for forever, and it's just going to pop up right here? Uh, 500 ghouls? I, I'm not sure. <laughs> uh, let's not ask questions. Uh, you don't know how many times after I got done the recording, I came up here to try to find that chest going up the rock cliffs. Now it's just there on the ground. Well, there's Nia. Let's have a conversation. Hello. Uh, hello. Hmm? I definitely did a double take when I saw your new boss. Though maybe that weirdo Yan had broken out and came back for re revenge. Justice had to explain to me the situation. Quite the story. Um. I could take her on a play date, but maybe on Catch a you date. Catch you later. On, well, you know what? No. Heck with it. Let's go. 
Let's go. Where do you want to go? I'm up for anything. Let's go to the Blue Moon Saloon. Well, what a coincidence. Winter Solace. Uh, this uh, is pretty much winter where I am now. So <laughs> it's almost, uh, you know, the first day of winter. Now let's go to Blue Moon. Because that's how lazy I am. I just bring her to somewhere, bring them to somewhere else when we have dinner here. Now, while I'm here, though, I should get some soy sauce. For future recipes. Uh, sit and eat. Um, ask about interest. What do you like to do? Let me think. I really enjoy working at the moisture farm with Zeke. He shares so many stories about his past planting experiences, and time just flies when we work together. Um, ask about Dombey work. is a real powerhouse at the moisture farm. You won't believe the energy she has. She single-handedly seeded 20 planter boxes once, and all the seedlings turned out great. All right. So like any meal, you have a couple conversations. Here's the then, menu. Then you order Take a, look. a meal. What's hot today? What's hot today? Me, baby. I'm always hot. Uh, must include beef noodles, hot and sour fish. Uh, must include one meat and two drinks, fried rice. Okay. Um, wait, did it say beef noodles? Beef noodles, all right. Hot and sour fish. Hot and sour fish. There we go. Uh, must include one meat dish and two drinks. Yeah, we'll get that and that. Oh, so I already had the meat dish. I just didn't have the two drinks. Okay, and then fried rice. Am I just scrolling right on past through it here or what? Fried rice. Where, where the heck am I going past the fried rice, man? I'm checking every category, even the ones I do. I'm almost sure it's not in there. Potatoes. Omelet. Oh, soy sauce fried rice. Is that what it's going to be? Okay. He just left out the soy sauce. I was just looking just for fried rice alone. All right, uh, we got everything there, confirm. Whoa, you ordered all my favorite dishes. I love it when you're being so thoughtful. Let's dig in. Um, more interest, what do you got? Favorite things? I've always wanted a big garden, so I'm into all kinds of seeds and garden tools. Uh, gifts. I have no idea, but since she's into all this kind of gardening stuff. <laughs> mountain rose seeds. Um, would she like some mountain rose seeds? <laughs> we'll see what happens oh, there. Thank you. Oh, plus six. That's not too bad. Uh, an exit. And we'll end and hang out. How time flies. Being with you always brings this familiar and comforting feeling. I can't wait for our next date. Notice I didn't bring up that I had a girlfriend, but she didn't ask. So, <laughs> uh, let's go see our girlfriend and see what she's up to. Is she actually working up here or is she just uh, like lurking around? Let's 
Wait, where, where actually is she? Okay, so she actually is inside. I think I gotta buy a pass. Can I afford it? I think so. Oh, maybe I don't. She's coming out. Howdy. Your friend works for Professor Liu? That's amazing. I'd love to do something like that. Maybe if I had a degree, I could aim for a better life. Like assistant manager. Okay. <sighs> hmm. You tried hard, but don't but didn't succeed. I'm sorry, that doesn't really compute in my uh, worldview. Just try harder. What are you referring to? I don't know what that, that refers to. Is she talking about herself? I, I don't think I failed anything that I know of. Um, I could take her on a date. Hmm. Oh, I guess... Uh, uh, all right, so she's just asking wh where we're going. Um, I really don't know. Because <laughs> I thought I was going to get, like, uh, different options. Let's go to the Blue Moon Saloon. Because why not? I mean, I haven't taken her there yet. We've had conversations before. But maybe, maybe I can find out more about her. And yes, there are other places to go on dates, but... Um, I feel like I get more interactions at the Blue Moon Saloon than anywhere else. Uh, no, I want to... Uh, yeah, sit and eat. Uh, okay, same thing, ask about work. I sometimes feel like Rocky isn't just my boss, but like an old brother. Crystal is so awesome too. I reckon Pebbles is going to be such a cool guy when he's all grown up. Your interest... What do you like to do? The best part of salvaging is every dive is a new mystery. You almost always see something you've never into before. I'm always excited to take a new rare item home from the ruins. So she likes ruined stuff. Okay. Mm -hmm. All right. Yeah, I know. You're going to make me do the choices here. Uh, let's see. Build more than 30 ghouls. It's spaghetti, spicy sour potato, pickle... Pickled black fungus. That does not sound the greatest, but okay. Um, well, there's the pickled black fungus. There we go. And then, of course, we need the spicy and sour potato. Sweet potato, spicy and sour potato, there we go, and spaghetti. Where did I go past spaghetti? So let me guess, it's going to be, shouldn't be in, in, in the dessert items, I would assume. Well, I'm not really seeing something that just says spaghetti. So maybe anything that is spaghetti? Does, does lasagna count? Lasagna counts as spaghetti. I mean, technically. <laughs> yeah, okay. Um, build more than 30 ghouls. Yes, we got that. So I think we're all set. <laughs> Wow, who knew ordering food was an art form? Everything you've ordered ordered is delicious, way better than anything my colleagues would have ordered. And favorite mm. things. I've always liked finding rare gems in the ruins. Some of them are so colorful and make for wonderful jewelry. Plus the feeling of knowing you found it yourself instead of getting it at a store is the best. Um, okay. Um, well, let's give her some amber earrings. See what she thinks about that. Thanks. It's really nice. 
Uh, it's a plus four, so that means not so much. All right, we'll exit. Oh, wait, I didn't realize we were holding hands before. Wait. She got up and held hands with me. There we go. Interact. And end date. <laughs> Finished already? What? I'm not ready to leave. I bet I'm going to wake up laughing tonight. Okay. Uh, thank you so much. You're going to wake up laughing? I take you on a date, and, and you're going to wake up laughing. Owen, you saw nothing. <laughs> Bros first, right? Right, Owen? <laughs> Bros first. Um, yeah, so I think we're all set. Ghoul-wise... Wait, we're, we're, we're ghouls. Uh, almost 79,000. Let me just go back up and double check. I think it's 100... Is it, wait, is it 150 or 120? Somewhere around there. That's what we're looking for. To buy the best mansion, I think. I think it's called Builder's Mansion. And every time I come in here, I get lost. So... Uh, let's see here. Builder's Haven. Uh, are you sure you wish to use this showroom? Anything missing furniture will be will be left blank. Wait, I got the I got the ghouls for that. Right? I got I got the seventy nine thousand, so it needs fifty seven. That's real expensive. Do I want to do the Builder's Mansion? Hmm. I really wish we could see the building. Before I put it down. That way I have a better look at it. I can kind of see what it looks like there. I'm not sure which one I would want. I mean, I think the Builder's Haven is something I probably should go for. I wonder if I get... Okay, before I, before I go ahead and do this, anyone that has done this before, if I put this down, don't like it. If I sell it, do I get all my ghouls back or do I lose like half? I have no idea. Um, so if anyone has built and then sold right away, do you get all the ghouls back? or Because if, if I put it down, I don't like the looks of the building. That's going to really suck. And then if I get like only half the ghouls back, that's a lot of work. That's a lot of work. Uh, but anyways, I think that's what we're going to wrap it up for today, guys. Hopefully you guys did enjoy the episode i do appreciate you watching as always and i'll catch you again at my time at sandrock but until then have a good one <laughs>